Our 10 for 10 tour takes us to Monta, Ecuador, where Extreme Nazarene's youngest church plant is underway. And there's plenty of work to do here in this city. Not just for our 4040 missionaries, Hello, Señora Magdalena, ¿cómo está? but for much of this city, just a few months removed from the country's worst disaster in decades. The floor is shaking and moving back and forth like a snake. Back in April, it was right around dinner time when a 7.8 magnitude earthquake violently shook the northern part of Ecuador for nearly a minute, tearing apart buildings, leveling homes. I felt like um, we're never going to stay alive. Many people did not survive. More than 200 people here in Manta died. Many more were left homeless and placed in temporary camps called albergues. Meanwhile, about 250 miles away, living in Quito, was this team, the Manta Church Planning Team, in the midst of training and preparation for its eventual move to the Ecuadorian coast. Their introduction to the city, though, came a bit sooner than planned. Eh, como sus instrumentos para poderles demostrar su amor. One week after the earthquake, some members of the Monta team came with relief supplies. A month later, they made a return visit with more resources. Tome, señito. Tal vez no tendremos mucho, pero podemos ayudarle con eso. The 4040 missionaries, even before moving here, had a captive audience. Más personas están receptivas a escuchar de Dios y creer en él por lo que pasó. And so, when the team finally settled here the beginning of July, they came into a city with momentum, along with dozens of names and numbers collected from those earlier visits. No será la misma. Their first few weeks here, the church planning team shared the gospel at parks and schools. Hicimos muchos eventos, entonces ganamos también muchos contactos. More than 400 new contacts. We have been working day by day calling those people. That is one of the initial steps in Extreme Nazarene church planning, the follow-up, typically with a phone call, to those who have expressed an interest in having a relationship with Jesus. Soy Noemi Maria de Iglesia del Nazareno. The 4040s work the phones throughout the week, calling and oftentimes recalling with one goal in mind. When we call our contacts, we ask them if they are interested in a visit. Very simply, look, we want to come spend 20 minutes with you. All in an effort to get to know them better. Sometimes the visits are to those either new to the church or new to the faith, like Teresa. Oftentimes it's a regular visit to a disciple who has expressed a desire to go deeper in the Christian walk. That describes Ramon. Ha estado buscando de Dios en todo momento y se ve el anhelo y el deseo de él de poder seguir adelante con con Dios. Ramon does not have much. He lost his home in the earthquake and now lives here, in a tent, in an albergue. This team got to know him during one of their relief visits. Que ellos oraban por mí, me daban fuerza para seguir adelante. These 4040s are also actively seeking opportunities to grow the church beyond just working their contact sheets. For example, A lot of places that we eat out at, we make contacts. That's what happened at this empanada stand. Alex and Bagner got to talking with Alejandro, the restaurant owner. He now regularly attends the church. Ya es algo de amistad, ya es algo en familia, de hogar, donde uno siente el calor de las personas que lo reciben allá, como lo saludan. Just as the phone calls are not the end goal, neither are the visits. The objective is to get a disciple to come to church or to lead them to a house of prayer. House of prayer is kind of like kind of like a gateway, like here's the people, here's the church, here's the house of prayer. It's to ease them into the church. Jordan and Mariana work as a 40-40 pair and have two houses of prayer on Friday nights. These houses of prayer are essentially small group Bible studies where disciples get to grow in their faith. Essentially, Eso es lo que nosotros queremos, que hacer discípulos y que ellos hagan discípulos como nosotros los estamos haciendo. Alex and Bagner have their house of prayer in another part of the city. The hour before it starts, Alex teaches them English. That's, it's cool to give that kind of help, uh, but more than anything I'd say it's a way to kind of get our foot in the door to talk to them about the Word of God. The efforts of calling and recalling, of walking the city and taking cabs to visit others, of sharing with strangers and restaurant owners has helped to launch this very young church. But that's not all this team is doing. 
We've been spending a lot of time prayer, fasting, um, uh, getting up in the middle of the night to pray for the people of Monta. For people like Ramon, Alejandro, and Teresa. But not only them, there's an entire city ready to be reached for Jesus, to rise up and be transformed. And there's a team working by the grace of God to make that happen.